I've decided not to renew the membership of the EFF. Floyd Shivambu's dramatic exit from the EFF to join the MK party. 95 Libyans arrested at an illegal military site in South Africa are free to go home. And former Miss South Africa contestant Chidima Adachina agrees to take part in Miss Universe Nigeria. Hello, I'm Jane Dutton. This is Eyewitness News. I've decided not to renew the membership of the EFF because I will join and participate in Umkonto as a party. Floyd Shivambu announces he's leaving the economic freedom fighters. The Red Berets deputy president will now join Jacob Zuma's Onkontwe Wesizwe party. That means he'll no longer be a member of parliament for the EFF. He takes Mzwanele Manye, spokesperson of the Jacob Zuma Foundation, along with him. Party leader Julius Malema's face said it all. And I've told him that resigning from the EFF is equal to resigning from himself that the day you decide to come back, you are more than welcome. Because you are not a member, you are a founder of this political party. So you are not our enemy. Malema confirmed that many more people will follow Floyd, but this does not mean the EFF will collapse. Last year at a gala dinner, Malema rubbished claims suggesting there were tensions between him and Shivambu. My coffin will be draped with the flag of the EFF. Even if I remain alone, I will do so because I'm loyal to this cause. The state drops its case against the 95 Libyan nationals arrested at an illegal military training camp in Mpumalanga last month. The group made an urgent appearance at the White River Magistrates Court this morning. They understood to have falsified their visa applications to enter South Africa. During the July arrest, police discovered drugs, contraband and military-grade weapons on the site. The men will now remain in the custody of the Home Affairs Department before being deported. That's because they face a single charge of contravention of the Immigration Act. Pumalanga police say there was no evidence of criminality committed. You cannot um, arrest a person as a, p- a punishment. Still not knowing who or what the men were training for, the question now is how safe will they be when they get back home? Former Miss South Africa contestant Chidima Adachina says yes to competing in Miss Universe Nigeria. Adachina received an invitation to participate in the Nigerian pageant after she pulled out of the local contest after an uproar over her citizenship status. It was revealed that Adachina's mother, of Mozambican descent, possibly committed identity fraud in 2001 to get her daughter citizenship when she was born. The law student posted on X, I understand the responsibilities and expectations that come with this title, and I'm so excited to embark on this journey. The defense proved to the court on a balance of probability that it is in the interest of justice to grant bail to the applicant, so bail will be granted. Free, after four months in jail, Ace Mahishule's ex-PA is granted bail. Morwadi Cholota has accused the state of charging her with fraud and corruption because she did not implicate her former boss in criminality. A visibly emotional Muradi Cholota cried in the dark when the court granted her bail. Cholota couldn't hold back her tears, occasionally wiping her face with a green sweater. She nodded enthusiastically as the judge read out her bail conditions. The court says Cholota will be confined to Bloemfontein for the duration of the matter, where she's expected to live with her relatives. She'll also have to report to the investigating officer at a local police station twice a week. The court warned of strict sanctions if she fails to comply with the bail conditions, including issuing a warrant of arrest. Cholota is set to return to court tomorrow for the matter to be transferred to the Bloom High Court. Some residents of Riverlands near Malmesbury in the Western Cape are pleading with government officials to help them rebuild their homes. Last week, three dam retention walls burst and flooded 50 homes, forcing more than 200 people to evacuate. Most of them are being housed at pop-up centres. Many homes in the Landbow area of Riverlands are still underwater, exactly a week since heavy waters swept through the region. Resident Nicolene English says no one from the Swartland municipality has been to their homes to see the damage. 
they were not here to tell us, listen here, this is our plan of action. We must go on your say. This one says that, this one says that. My husband was talking to one of them at the poop center. His uh, 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 boss wants to buy us a, uh, uh, a bungalow. Then municipality told him, if he buys the, buys the bungalow, we're not going to help you. Because then you can, you can get on your feet on your own, then you don't need our help. The community says they are frustrated over the lack of access to clean water. The Swatland municipality has indicated it'll take six to eight weeks to restore running water to the area. So what happens when an eight-day work trip turns into an eight-month trip or even longer in space? That's what NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore will have to contend with. Williams and Wilmore were expected to undergo a space mission for eight days, but propulsion issues with Boeing's Starliner spacecraft mean they'll not be back until 2025. NASA says the space station is working on a plan. The details around how remains unknown. What will they do until then? Chill, sleep, build muscle, eat dehydrated food. Delays can happen. We did have an astronaut, Frank Rubio, was going on a six-month mission that turned into a one-year mission. So they do have extras up there, but they also have supply ships that go up there. And those supply ships can get packed, not at the last minute, but pretty close to the, <laughs> to the launch time. And we leave you with these images, fans, family and friends paying their final respects to film giant Connie Chiume. Chiume died last week at Garden City Hospital while recovering from a medical procedure. Connie's legacy is not merely in the role she played or the award she won, but in the life she touched, in the dreams she ignited. Her journey from the stages of Yalcom to the silver screens of Hollywood serves as a powerful reminder that with passion, perseverance, and an open heart, one can truly change the world. As the curtain falls on an earthly performance, we celebrate a life lived with purpose, joy, unwavering commitment to a craft and a community. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.